Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with another new product preview. Few days late as I had to go to jury duty on Wednesday, but do have Wednesday's new release of 2022 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball. Now, originally, because we actually were projected to get a half case, we managed to get a full case. Originally, wasn't going to open up on the channel. Bossman was like, Ah, you don't need to open Ginter. You're not going to be here Wednesday. We can just skip it. I'm like, Bossman. We can't skip Allen and Ginter, otherwise known as Allie and Ginter. So very excited to check it on out. I originally, when I first started at Titan back 2017, when I was just, you know, hanging out in the shop and things like that, I was not a fan of mini cards. I'm like, why would you want cards that are purposely small? But over the years, minis have really grown on me. And I love Allen and Ginter for giving us really wacky ones. Like I like collecting the sea animals. I like the baby. The baby zoo animals was the first set I collected. Happened to be retail exclusive, so that was a pain in the butt. But the sea animals, sea creatures, there's been plant ones that are really cool. This year, I know there's the sandwich ones. I think it's called Get That Bread. So I'm excited for that. Otherwise, I haven't looked at the checklist for other spoilers for minis. So excited to let those take me by surprise here in this opening. There are three hits per box. Look for any combo three of autographs, relic cards, rip cards, plates and booklet cards. We have pulled rip cards here before on the channel. We have not pulled plates, I don't think, from Ginter. And I don't believe I've ever pulled a booklet card from Ginter. Now, in previous years, there's been those chase for like fossils and like gem relics and things like that. So curious to see if it's possible to find some of that this year. And if so, would love to look out and just have one here in the preview box. Now, this box we're opening on up, continuing Wednesday's trend of mildly mildly squished boxes. This one here does have a bit of a corner. So this is why this is the one we're going to go ahead and open on up. So very excited to get on into Allen and Ginter, the world champions. Let's snap ourselves into the corner and get started. So very excited to see. I was like, I swear I cut something. I was like, why is the shrink wrap not opening? All right. What do we have? We have oversized box loader. Now, in previous years, you could find rip cards in here. Sometimes it's just something oversized. So it doesn't feel thick or anything like that, but let's check it on out. Uh, Roger Clemens, I'm assuming. Yes, Roger Clemens here. Wait, autograph box loader? Oh, that's so cool. 11 of 15. I remember Roger Clemens when he plays with the Yankees. I remember that. But most of the time, I feel like we see Clemens and Red Sox stuff because that's where he's known to be from. So, wow, look at that. 11 of 15. Now, I don't think this counts towards our one of three. I don't think this is one of our three hits, but number to 15. And he has really nice penmanship. All right. So, yeah, the, the, the slightly, the slightly. I mean, that was a very minimal corner. I didn't pick the box. Bossman picked the box. I It was dropped off here, and then I came in after I finished with my jury duty. I changed that. I didn't go like this. I dressed nicely. This is nice, but not court nice. All right. I don't, I don't have anything within reach. Or do I? I do. You know what? I was going to be like, I don't have anything in reach to be able to keep him protected, but I do have... Uh, some very, very large 8 by 10 photo sleeves. <laughs> and here, I think an 8 by 10 uh, top loader. So, uh, you know, I just have assorted supplies in my area. You know, forget black pink being in your area. Assorted upper or assorted uh, ultra pro. I almost said upper deck. That doesn't even make sense. Assorted ultra pro supplies in your area. All right, so Roger Clemens autograph number 15. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. He kind of looks like Chris Pratt in this photo. That's not what I'm used to Roger Clemens looking like. Or am I just being really dumb and it's not the person I'm thinking of? Kind of like, looks like Chris Pratt to me. Anyways. The Star Lord autograph to start. But yes, eight cards per pack. Let's 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 see what we can get. Oh, this design's kind of awkward. I don't uh, know how I feel about the design. It just looks like everything's off centered. Come 
Clements. We have Ernie Clements for the Guardians rookie. We have a mini. Ooh, that is a Ginterback mini. Robbie Ray. And get that bread. Pork roll. That looks good. I am all of a sudden quite hungry. Is Charlie Blackman a short print number 236? I think it's through 250 usually and 251 through 300 are the short prints. And it says Bay's short print one and two. And of course there's those glossies. We found a glossy once in the shop many years ago. I think it was 20... Where's the giant box of Ginter when we opened up like five cases? 2019 Ginter. We had a glossy. When I was sorting all the base, because we used to list all the individual base cards. And like I actually would pre-sort them prior to listing. And I was like, ah, oh, why is this... Why... Oh. Wow, it's young and Jeter. Why is why is G Jeter a child? And we had some glossy 101. Cause you you couldn't tell. You couldn't tell just looking at it. You had to actually just flip it over. So hopefully the glossies this year are easier to. <laughs> hopefully the glossies glossies this year are easier to tell. But it's famous rivals. It's a New York slice versus a Chicago deep dish. Black Stephen Kwan mini. <laughs> I love Ginter, man. This stuff is just ridiculous. This pack is huge. This is actually thick. Look at this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How big is this pack? Let's look at it. Centimeters. This bag is an entire centimeter. This bag is literally twice as thick as it should be. With my luck, well, with my luck, it's going to be a booklet, right? Because we just pulled the Roger Clemens auto box topper. Well, I was going to say with my luck, it's just going to be like extra base cards. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. That is a chunk. Oh my goodness, what is that? I'm glad that I have. I use Da Vinci now instead of Open Shot because I need to mess with that volume. Oh my god, there's a piece of a dinosaur. That's so cool. All right, all right, everybody. What if we just collectively pretend that this pack didn't exist? Does that mean I get to keep it? Boss man, I want this to be my Christmas bonus. Can we just, like, stop? Like, do I have to keep going? I don't know what's in the air this week here in Pinellas Park. Probably pollution, but, like, I don't know what's in the air this week, but I did, I've did. i been on something this week, dude. Something's been going down. And banner season, I don't care. It's a Greg Medix insert. It's not a dinosaur fossil! I'm not looking for these base short prints. I give up. I'll flip you over just because. All right, Perez is normal. Uh, Chris Bryant, Bat Relic. That's that's neat. That's uh, not anywhere near as neat. Look at that, Mike Trout. Nothing will top this. Nothing will top this unless we find, like, an Otani printing plate booklet autograph or something ridiculous, okay? That is the greatest car. I don't care what that auction ends at for the Martinelli rookie. I don't care that I pulled three Pedro Pascal autographs out of 2020 Masterwork. Like, I don't care about our jumbo sketches we found out of Stellar. Nothing will top the fact I've pulled a dinosaur relic out of Ginter my entire life. I don't know what can beat this moment, but we'll be out here trying on this channel for a good time, for a good while. We'll be trying, but I don't know that I can have a better moment in my life than pulling a dinosaur fossil out of a pack. In case you guys can't tell, I was that weird dinosaur kid growing up. And I still have my box of dinosaur men's. And I still have my boxes of rocks. And I, I did have to take 
when I redecorated for the shelf, so you guys didn't notice. Uh, Mile High sent this super cool rock for my birthday. I did have to take it off the shelf, but you know what? I still need it close. I gotta have a rock in close proximity. I don't think I can ascend past that moment. No disrespect to our other pulls on the channel. Personally, this, I, I, I didn't even top load the Chris Bryant. I don't even know where my 55s are. Uh, got a new graphics card for the computer, but like the cord didn't work. So like everything's rearranged here because I think it actually got delivered after I went to the post office today. Uh, so I have to go get that. But I don't want to have to like remove everything on the desk again. So it's like awkward over here. So anyways, I misplaced the top loaders and it wasn't these the 55s are usually right here, but that's 100 points. Why do I have two open 35 points? What? I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I am trading my sanity for good pulls. And I think everyone would agree that that's fine. Bro, it's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. <laughs> Hi, cheese. The baseball lexicon, cheese, or sometimes cheddar, is a sizzling fastball that has something extra on it. High cheese. Then is a heater at the top of the zone or above it. This pitch has experienced a resurgence in recent years as it often negates uppercut swings. There's a coffee insert, International Coffee Day. It's your special day. I know! I know! <laughs> this is gonna be a framed mini auto <laughs> it's just i don't know mike trout or jeter i don't know oh it's manny machado okay well you know i tried all right <laughs> we do have a manny machado framed mini autograph well, that's not a mike trout or Derek jeter but you know it is a framed mini auto i was right the first time this video is like 13 minutes long. I've opened like five packs. That is the Titan card special. You know what's crazy? You know what's actually crazy? As soon, as soon, I, you know what, whatever, y'all, I'll tag him in this. I'll tag him like in the description of the comments. As soon as Jeff retires, sports card investor Jeff Wilson retires the hits app, I start pulling actual cool cards out of sports products. As soon as Jeff retires it, I wonder if the TJ hears a short print. Like I said, I can't be bothered with short prints right now. We have a dinosaur fossil. Hunter Green rookie. And of course, of course, as soon as there's no platform for me to be like, guys, look at my cool sports cards. I have not been separating out our rookies. It's okay. We need the space. Look at that. Frank Thomas. It's cool. It's National Potato Chip Day. Does it say what day it is? March 14th? Pie Day? What do you mean you're going to put Potato Chip Day on Pie Day? That's Pie Day. All right. That is nice, though. One was Coffee Day. Coffee Day is October 1st. All right. So we missed that. I want a reason to gorge myself. Is there any holidays coming up? I need more of them inserts. Let's see if there's any more holidays coming up throughout the rest of the year that I can just eat a bunch and be like, well, I had to. It was national. I mean, that's Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> but... Hi, Otani. Inside the park, we have Acadia National Park. And then the pastrami insert. Ooh, little bear is cute. The New York pizza versus Chicago pizza. That's ridiculous. Uh, Ginter is a treat, I swear. Ginter is a treat. I used to be a hater. I used to be a hater. Now I'm... 
still a hater, but for different things. Mesa Verde National Park. That's cool. I wonder, I wonder what mini set I'm going to decide to collect this year. I like the national parks. After this video, though, if I don't see something that like I've, I've decided on, I'm leaning towards the national parks. You know, like, the retail usually has like some cool animal insert. I really like last year's sharks cards. Those weren't minis. Those are really cool. And oh, we have Murphy. Who? Morgan Murphy, Ginterback. So much stuff to look for in Ginter. I'm going to check the back for glossies. And, you know, you got to flip over all the minis to see if they're like Brooklyn backs or Ginter backs or, or whatever. Bobby Witt Jr. Number 250, rookie. I will say all the all the cards look black. I mean the black parallel you can tell, but each of the base like they have the the black tints on the minis. It's more pronounced, I think, because there's less space, so it looks like there's more black on the card. Even though I would assume it's the same ratio of open to to dark space on that weird wall, which I'm still not sold on. Like it doesn't look as weird now that I've seen more of it, but I still don't think I like it. Which is weird. Usually like Ginter. It's I feel the closest we get to. I mean, it's more portrait, whereas Panini Diamond King's baseball is like, you know, like a full image, but it has like that artsy, like cool filter on it. We have Jordan, Ginterback. I will say to me, my least favorite inserts are the actual baseball related. I, I'm not watching... Why does it say hot sauce, one cup, hell and a half cup? What's cooking? All right, interesting. The best part about Ginter is not the baseball. I don't buy blaster boxes of Ginter at the bookstore because that's the only place I can find them last year, Barnes and Nobles. I don't collect Ginter for the baseball cards. I see every time Ginter comes out, I'll see different comments, you know, because I'm nosy. I'm looking at stuff. I see comments on, like, Top's Facebook page being like, ew, you know, it's a baseball probably with all this other crap in it. And be like, nah, I'm here for the crap, dude. Clip that, somebody out there. Clip it. YouTube has clips now. Do it. Destroy me. <laughs> it's a hot sauce insert. It just says, what's cooking? I've never heard the term high cheese, but I'm also not up on the the, ba the baseball lexicon. High cheese cracks me up. Yeah, Joe Carter. It's number three, over 300, so that's a short print then. Like I said, I'm not going to separate out the short prints. I'm seeing, I saw an Onus Wagner in there earlier and things like that. I'm My brain just is screaming dinosaur. I don't know. I'll look Clemente. Number 54. All right. Well, you're not the short print. My brain is just screaming about the dinosaur. I don't know how honestly I'm just, I'm just opening still. Yeah. Bill Mazarowski. 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 Uh, pitching a gem. There could have been a cooler mineral insert than that. I don't like cut gems. Oh, there's a ketchup card. There's a real ketchup card, Super Beast. When I was at the National, I live streamed the box. I live streamed two box. Box two, we don't talk about box two. Box two is trash. I open up you know, Star Wars Finest, the three hundred dollars a box. Against my better judgment, I opened a couple boxes, streamed them from my hotel room, and I pulled a card number to five. His name is Catch, so this is the ketchup card. But now there's a real ketchup card. I don't like how I don't like how tops didn't center the ketchup. Like it's touching the edge, but there's open space there. Remember one year, I think we found an RL Stein autograph. Oh, there's a retro rookie, Vidal Bruhan. And Slam Dunk Contest Day, that is. November 28th. Oh, okay. That's cool. So that's an upcoming holiday. It's not a food holiday. 
I did request upcoming holidays. Ooh, I'm going to steal this Andre Dawson from my mom. Random Expos cards we find, which there's not a lot. They, they uh, get repossessed by yours truly. Time out. On August 13, 2014, at the Pirates-Tigers game at Comerica Park was delayed by a little foul ball. <laughs> Two pigeons that landed between the mound and plates began pecking at the ground. After shooing attempts failed, a worker with a net arrived to catch and release. That's not a pigeon. That's not a pigeon. But it's just bird. The insert, it's timeout bird. <laughs> Ginter is the greatest set of all time. Ginter is the greatest set of all time. Aaron Ashby. We have Kate Brownell. And Banner Season, Maze. We have Hunter Green, Chris Plies, and Banner Season, Cal Ripken Jr., a regular. Regular mini versus Ginterback. Well, there's the uh, that Instagram kid. I've discussed my insane jealousy over this kid being featured in the set. Maybe one day, you know, if I didn't just talk a bunch of crap, how... I mean, I can't be the center of the ketchup insert. Maybe Tops would like me more. Can I have one Ginter card, please? Can we make Allie and Ginter a real thing? This is our third year of the Allie and Ginter petition. Do 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 Thurman Munson. Take that from my dad. Uh, so I've lifted a few cards. I've begged for a free dinosaur relic. Um, two packs to go. Ooh, Wander Franco rookie. Franco, as I've learned. Hey, that's cool. That's the that's the lady, obviously, right? <laughs> That's cool. That's the uh, first uh, women's coat or women co uh, women manager. Oh, she's uh, she was in Tampa. Interesting. That's cool. That's cool. She had uh, some top snail cards that I missed out on. I'll take that for me. That what a steal! <laughs> Wait, they stole a bridge. Thieves dismantled and stole a 10-ton bridge in broad daylight in the Western Czech Republic in 2012. They used a crane and a truck to pull off the heist, showing police forged papers that purported an agreement to take apart the 110-year-old structure. What do you do with that? I thought it was insane. Here in Pinellas County, the courthouse is like right next to, I don't know if it's like physically attached, but the parking lots are linked to the county jail. So when I went for jury duty today, because I'm recording this on Wednesday, when I came out, they were talking about someone stole a car. And I'm like, what? if you're going, don't do it, don't do it. But if you're going to steal a car, why would you steal a car right in front of the jail? These people stole a bridge. I thought that was insane. Ginter is the greatest set of all time. I am incredibly biased by the Brachiosaurus DNA relic. And we have Jason Ellis. That is a Ginter back. And Hank Aaron, Banner Season. All right, so I... <laughs> what a steal! I, I honestly, like, I like how it's the little robber in the, his bag running away with the bridge. But overall, I would say it's not my favorite design. I like the National Park cards. But I'll take a look on the checklist to see what will be my mini set of choice this year. 
<laughs> but this is this 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 is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh, I I blame Jeff. I blame Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Shout out to Jeff. Now I get cool sports polls. I mean, that's not sports polls, but it's a sports product at least, right? I get cool cards of a sports product. All right, this this though this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. But let's take a look. Let's start off our recap with our minis. Let's take a look at our minis. So we did have just one what a steal, one bird timeout, a uh, high cheese, and the retro rookie Vidal Brujan throwback rookie, however it's called. We had one short prance mini Joe Carter. We had two national parks. We had a decent amount of Ginterbacks. We had five Ginterbacks in the box. And two blacks. These were both rookies. Quan and Manning, rookie. Two what's cooking, two get that bread. One famous rivals, three it's your special day. Uh, and we had a bonus autograph. Let's start off with our regular hit, regular. Your average hits. We had a frame the mini autograph, Manny Machado. And we had the Chris Bryant's bat relic. Our third regular hit of the box, but not regular by any means. It's a freaking dinosaur. Brachiosaurus. Genuine fossil. Number 15 of 20. This is stupid. I'm um, box topper autograph. We had this giant, this, this top loader is way too big. I don't know if we, we should have one that is smaller, like in the shop. I'll we'll have to check over there and look, but we have this Chris Pratt looking Roger Clemens. 11 of 15. Yeah, so that's, that's, uh, this is 2022 Ginter. It's 2022 Ginter. Let me know. You know, I had a nice thumbnail picture taken, but I might just zoom in on my reaction to the dinosaur, like, very pixely. Because, unfortunately, these are recorded as one file, so it's not like I have this in full res. I'm just stuck here in the corner, like... We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah. Yeah, this is 2022 Ginter. Yeah, so let me know your guys' thoughts on this set. Uh, I don't care about the baseball in Ginter. It's cool, though, because, you know, you still have cool rookies to chase. You still have autographs and relics and things like that. But I'm here for, like, the, the weird stuff. I'm really guys. I'm here for the crap. The extra crap. Uh, and I love it. This year, Ginter, I biased review 10 out of 10. Tops, give me a card, please. Give your give your Star Wars sketch artists a raise, Tops. Look at that. I got my card taken away. But uh, yeah, that does it here for this video. I'm going to get into some Akuda TCG up next. The not I don't think it's possible for that to be as interesting as this, to be honest. I don't think it's possible, but... I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will stay tuned for more content. But if you enjoyed it, I don't know if you guys could possibly have as much fun as I did today. But if you had fun, make sure you hit that like button. Comments for me, your thoughts on the set, your thoughts on my screech, your thoughts on my comments. Am I funny? No, looks don't count, I know. But uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, it's been popping off this week. You might want to join. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not yet done so already. <sighs> It's because the atmosphere, I changed the atmosphere and now we're just winning. Hashtag winning. Well, but before I get on out of here and into this uh, not nearly as exciting opening, I mean, it's uh, boxes are fun, but this I, I peaked in life here. I peaked in life. Before I get on out of this video, I do have to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have seven Black Label fans, Andin, Bounty Hunter Break, Steve On, Kira Soltari, MT, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gem Mint fans. Bamboo, Butch Corby, Geriatric Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C, Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Shinefsen, and Vanek. But thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. No, well, that, that does do it here for this one. Oh, my goodness. That does it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all join me in the next video. Bye.